we continue our fight against the coronavirus, there are still a lot of questions about the virus itself and how we can best protect ourselves. WBZ is the only local TV station with a doctor on staff. She joins us now. Dr. Malika Marshall's here. And doctor, we want to get right to the first question. It comes from Jane, who asked by email, does takeout food need to be cooked to be safe? So that's a good question, and we know that the coronavirus does not like heat, so cooking food is going to kill it. But it's safe to eat raw food as well. If you get a takeout order, make sure you take the food out of the packaging, discard the packaging, and wash your hands really well, but it's fine to have salad. Okay, and this is sort of along the same lines as food safety. Gay is asking, is it necessary to wipe down grocery packaging when food is brought home from the supermarket? Yes, Gay, and I sort of have something that I do. I like to keep a dirty section of my countertop and a clean section. And so I take the bags from the grocery store, I put them on the dirty section, I take out each item and I wipe them off with disinfectant, put them over to the clean section. I take produce and I wash it really well with water and set those aside. And then when I'm done, I recycle the bags or throw away the bags and then wash my hands really well and then you can put your clean groceries away. Good advice, doctor. Amy's asking, is it safe for my child to wear a mask? He is four. So the CDC recommends that all kids over the age of two wear a cloth face mask when they're outside of the home around other people. However, children under the age of two should not wear a face mask because it can pose a suffocation or a strangulation risk. If you have an infant, you can put them in the infant carrier and loosely drape a blanket over the carrier, which protects the baby but also allows them to breathe comfortably. And we talk about a lot of different technology that might be in place as we begin to reopen. And Debbie from Fitchburg writes, as they talk about about taking your temperature when you enter businesses and workplaces should women experiencing hot flashes be concerned about seeing being sent home for a possibly incorrect reading Debbie, that's another really good question, and typically during a hot flash, the temperature of your skin goes up, so your skin can get very warm, but your core body temperature really doesn't change much, and it certainly doesn't change to the level of a fever. So maybe let the hot flash pass before they actually check your temperature, but you, you shouldn't register as having a fever. All right, Dr. Malika Marshall, as always, we so appreciate you. Thank you very much.